So on Thursday, we had a highly critical report from a congressional committee about the collapse of MF Global, the brokerage, which was headed by John Corzine, who had run Goldman Sachs and uh, been governor of New Jersey and then moved on to do this job. Anthony, what's, mm. what's, the, what's the nub of the criticism? Well, it's, uh, unfortunately, it's, it's the same old story. You could look at a number of uh, reports and right. criticisms of previous collapses. You've got the same things in there. So, you know, Corzine was an overbearing CEO. He basically dominated the board, uh, who he was supposedly reporting to, but he basically right. got them to say, let me do this $6.5 billion trade in European right. debt, and which killed the company. Right, sort of people out of the loop who didn't like Yeah, there was, was a risk doing, manager right. who said, actually, we shouldn't do it this way. He said, don't worry. Now, don't forget, also, this is a company that decided to become, when, when just before, actually, Corzine joined, right. um, it decided to become more of an investment bank than just a futures commission yeah, people broker. talked about a, a mini Goldman Sachs. Yeah, absolutely. But the thing is, he didn't put in any of the risk management or liquidity management uh, provisions that you would need just for a basic switch to, from being a, a broker to a trader. Right. Um, he pushed people out of the way if they, if they didn't agree with him. And he basically dominated the board. So it, it, the, the whole chairman-CEO split thing arises again from this. Should they really have the same role? So, Agnes, although, although the guys had a good old go at John Corzine, yeah. they had another point to make, which was about which is regulation, the regulators. Right? Again, and we, I, I feel yeah, like we, we talked about this so long ago already. So yeah, so, no, and, and Anthony noted in his piece as well, I mean, we've seen this before, right, where the regulators, you know, their duties overlap. So and we're they talking just, about the SEC and the CFTC. Exactly. Who, you know, we, if, if you, you, it feels like if you would start, starting with a clean sheet of paper, you'd never have two regulators exactly. for these markets. Exactly. No, and this was a debate after 2008. Like, I mean, those were the two regulators that you could really see kind of, they have a lot of overlap that they could actually become one. Mm. It was right. decided not to do that, but they both agreed to, we'll work together, we'll share right information yeah. and what this report shows is they just didn't do that yeah they, they, they didn't but, but both of them were looking at similar and separate things not sharing the information right. they weren't at it seems that they weren't at least fighting amongst each other right. whereas if you look at the uh, the Velucas report into the Lehman collapse yep. you had I think the Fed and the SEC basically bad-mouthing each other right. um, yeah. but it does, in the, like in this, the it does seem like this time they were giving conflicting instructions to MF Globe yeah, yeah. right and you, and you see that a little with Dodd-Frank regulations too yeah. that they're kind of in, although they've kind of divided responsibilities yeah. up there's there's a bit of duplication yeah there. And, and I think in their case there's more than just a bit of duplication mm. and I think there really is a case I mean you know uh, the SEC chairman Mary Shapiro has even said there's a lot it makes a lot of sense to basically push these two mm. agencies right. and just make them into one yeah, they, they, it, it made sense to have them separate years and years ago when you had the futures brokerages which the CFTC uh, looks after basically dealt in agricultural products which yeah. is why right. in, in Congress it's dealt, it's over seen by the agriculture right, committee. Right, and this is yeah. one of the reasons that it's politically so hard Absolutely. to Absolutely. The agriculture committee uh, guys have come out today and said, this is a really bad idea. You don't want to merge these two. We should be concentrating on, on, on prosecuting uh, Corsair. Fair enough, if you can find something wrong with him, prosecute him. But it doesn't mean you don't yeah. look at but, putting these two together. But again, I mean, I feel like this is a theme that we keep kind of coming back to right. post-2008 as well. It's just that the regulatory landscape is still incredibly confusing mm. for everybody okay. and that hasn't been dealt yeah. with so maybe this is at least at least we can get the conversation okay, going we'll yeah. leave it there we'll be keeping an eye on whether the sec and the cftc show any signs of getting together i suggest don't hold your breath but we will have more breaking views next week